my mom's uterus again. And this thing was coming at me. Oh, but I am Dr. Feelgood. Now, before I was Dr. Feelgood, and I was just some guy dreaming of being on toddlers and tiaras, I was smoking some marijuana, and I heard a voice. Granted, it was my own voice, and I was talking to myself, but technically, I heard a voice, and it said, Dr. Feelgood. So I'm Dr. Feelgood, and I'm here to tell you all how marijuana can cure all of your ailments. Jason Smith! If you hit the bong more often, you could be a child star. You could host the Kids' Choice Awards, like that Mario Lopez. Sandy Beach! If you rolled a fat blunt, you might actually convince yourself that you're an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> then you would make delicious sweets. You could take over for Paula Deen. The best part is you could get away with racial slurs because you're a lesbian. That's the way it works, right? Yeah. And, well, Russ is gone, but if Russ had said that there'd be weed at this event, this room would be filled, and people would actually laugh at Dan America's jokes. <laughs> Ricky, if you smoked enough weed, then you'd really get down with that sock puppet of yours. You could be in porno. The, the best part is, that's not the best part, the best part is you can save them on labor because you can be your own fluffer. <laughs> I remember the last time I got that high. I fucked a warm jelly donut. And after I got done fucking the donut and I started to eat it, I thought I was eating a Bavarian cream. Then it dawned on me. I fucked the shit out of that donut. But marijuana can cure all ailments. If Walt Disney had smoked weed, then he wouldn't hate Jews. We would have a Rabbi Koala character. Also, if people smoked more weed, there'd be less car accidents because everyone would be driving 15 miles under the speed limit. There'd be a special lane for people listening to Pink Floyd. Also, there would be no more reality TV, because no one would care about what the goddamn Kardashians are doing. And all them folks from the Jersey Shore will shut the fuck up, because they'll be too busy stuffing cannoli down their mouth. Also, Miley Cyrus would realize that she's a piece of trash and that she needs to stop it. She'd have a career change. She could be a doctor and then she could twerk while she's doing surgery. Nobody likes Miley Cyrus. Well, maybe somebody? Okay. I heard somebody clap. I don't know if I just heard that or not, but definitely heard someone clap. Anyone else? Any ailments that you think you may have that marijuana can cure? Yes. Okay, fair enough. But that's not all that marijuana can cure, because we are a machine-driven country. And if we were all smoking weed, then we wouldn't be able to figure out how to drive those machines. Also, if the folks at Fox News smoked marijuana, then it would be the onion. Marijuana could be the end of all war, because people would forget what they're fighting about to begin with. Then, after a Taco Bell run, because they have the munchies, everyone would just poop and go to sleep. And there would be no more war, all because of marijuana. I have a list of things that marijuana can cure and cannot cure. Well, I don't really need the list for this, because serial killers if Charles Manson had puffed on some doobies, then he might have gotten his record contract. We'd all be singing about his garbage dump. However, there is one person that we don't want smoking weed, and that was Jeffrey Dahmer, because I don't want to know what he's like when he has the munchies. But, I kid you not, marijuana can cure all your ailments. But, it's a shame it's legal. Which is good news, because in the apocalypse, marijuana is perfectly legal. Only trouble is, 
You'll be so high, you won't know that the apocalypse had just happened. <laughs> I'm Dr. Feelgood, thank you very much, and remember, smoke that weed! <laughs> Yikes. That was that was entertaining. That was good. All right.